What's going on, champs and champettes? It's Fire Monkey here, and I gotta be honest, everywhere I look recently, I've heard news about NFTs, whether it be related to video games, movies, or just Stan Lee, as you guys saw by my previous video, there appears to always be some drama going on, at least in the Twitter world, when it comes to NFTs as a whole, and I find it very interesting, you know, just the whole drama aspect, not NFTs themselves, because I'm stupid to what an NFT really is. I understand the basics, but I'm never going to get into NFTs myself or even cryptocurrencies for that matter. However, one company that makes video games actually has been trying to do a major push for NFTs recently, and that is none other than Ubisoft who announced Ubisoft Quartz a few days ago. Now, for those who are unaware of the whole entire situation, Ubisoft Quartz is basically a new experience for Ubisoft's players, allowing them to get items, like, you know, cosmetics, whether it be a hat, whether it be a gun weapon skin, whether it even just be like an armor chess piece or whatever. They'd be able to get these as NFTs. Basically, they would have a unique identifier explaining that this item in the video game is their NFT and they could trade it online for, you know, money, whatever it might be on the blockchain, you know, that type of situation. So basically the Steam marketplace, except all entirely on the blockchain. And you know, there's a lot of controversy about this. The official Ubisoft Quartz video ended up getting 41,000 plus dislikes with only around 1.4 thousand likes as the time you're recording this video. And it was just like they got so review bombed on the whole Ubisoft Quartz thing and people just not liking it that the video got unlisted, right? The website's still up, you can still find the video fairly easily, but the video itself got unlisted on YouTube. And now, not only are the people in the community who play Ubisoft games n having a negative reception to the actual NFT push, but Ubisoft employees themselves are disagreeing with it as well, with one U Ubisoft employee stating that, is this really worth the negative publicity that it will cause by, you know, announcing NFTs in video games or whatever, and another employee wondering why we need to have artificial scarcity and egoism built into cosmetics in a video game. In those points, I do completely understand, and I kind of agree with both of them, to be completely honest here. However, it appears that the higher-ups and the CEOs, for example, who are actually working on this new push for NFTs in video games, don't care what their employees have to say, and they don't care what the community has to say, because basically, in a statement that came out from a Q&A around like a few days ago, they mentioned that this is only the beginning, and Ubisoft has many more plans and much broader ones for pushing blockchain technology into its games in the near future, which means that one, they, they are continuing to try putting NFTs in Ubisoft video games, but two, they want to do more with blockchain technology, meaning that maybe it's like, hey, you want to purchase this game? It's a Bitcoin exclusive. Pay us 20 Bitcoin, which is a massive amount of money, way more than 70 bucks, because I would rather pay 70 bucks for a video game than the 70 buck equivalent in Bitcoin, just because I don't understand that stuff. It's basically like, hey, here, you can buy this video game with digital stock. And actually, I've decided to cut this part of the video here. I know it might sound very weird in post-processing whenever you guys are watching the video, but it's like, I kind of just went off on a tangent comparing NFTs to other stuff, and I would rather give you guys a better example of my thoughts on NFTs in a more organized manner, so I'm just gonna play this video that I recorded for some background footage on the Fortnite channel, and it has my audio in there just talking about my whole opinion on Ubisoft's changes. No, so basically, uh, the main dude who's like trying to push for NFTs in Ubisoft games, he says that the backlash from the community is this is just the same effect from when they started doing more microtransactions and stuff in games. And, and what he's basically trying to do is say that microtransactions is the exact same thing as an NFT. And he states that it's only the beginning for Ubisoft and that they want to do a lot more blockchain stuff with uh, NFTs and well, just with their games, meaning like, hey, you want to you want to purchase this DLC with Bitcoin? You get 10% off. I'm gonna make a whole video ranting about that situation because honestly, dude, like I'm dumb when it comes to uh, NFTs or whatever, but don't force it into my games, man. I don't want to have to learn about it. Just make it so that I can get the same stuff through my own money. If I can buy the stuff using United States dollars, using like a Steam Steam wallet or whatever, do whatever the hell you want. I don't care. But if it's like I'm forced to, do your NFT technology bullshit. I don't, I don't really, I don't really vibe with that, you know? 
So yeah, let me know in the comments down below, how do you feel about NFTs and video games and how do you feel about Ubisoft planning to actually push for NFTs and more blockchain technology going further into their video games? But if you enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing to support the content I create and I'll catch you champs and champettes tomorrow with another video. Peace out.